Zachary Rizache has been one of the most prominent international prospects his age over the last couple years and though he had a somewhat disappointing spring and summer this year that left a lot of room for skepticism in him as a top pick, he's caught on in a big way as of late. He's a big wing listed somewhere between 6'8 and 6'10 with a slightly positive wingspan and youth on his side and what he's shown for Borg this year as a shooter with good fluidity and legit defensive impact has made him an easy prospect to like and only increased his stock significantly. Now starting off with his three-point shooting, Reza Shea has become one of the most effective three-point threats in both the BetClick Elite and Euro Cup competitions, and though he's shown the potential at times in the past, it's become much realer over the course of his first year playing substantial minutes as a pro. In 11 Euro Cup games, he's shooting 63% on three attempts from deep, which is obviously a crazy clip we can't expect to stay at that level, but in Pro A or BetClick Elite, he's at 37% on three attempts over 15 games which is also very good. He's mostly a spot up and catch and shoot guy, but within that he's been good on shakeups and just making himself available for his teammates moving around the perimeter. And he's also had a few movement looks in there. Now, he has a long ways to go there before you describe him as a movement shooter or anything like that, but he's at least made you think about the possibility. I am at least curious to see where the shot goes over this next half of the season given he's hovered around 30% across levels the last couple years, but right now it looks like he's turned the corner and there's reason to be confident in him, and this is a very important piece for his value at the NBA level. Soit une première défaite à, à domicile, soit une première défaite à l'extérieur. Effectivement pour... Euh... Il se ressort. Zachary Rizachi, on a l'impression. Roland de Vratch, Zachary Rizachi, Zachary Rizachi, c'est déjà la prime. Rizachi. Outside of the shooting offensively, he has done a pretty good job of attacking off the catch, whether that's a closeout or more of a shifted defense type of look or coming off of the occasional pin down or other set. He's made quick decisions and gotten to and finished at the rim at a solid rate off of those opportunities. And maybe the biggest development is just the way he's learning how to play through contact and turn corners with more regularity, though the overall finishing numbers can still use some work. We'll talk a little more about his self-creation later, but this is something that he has done fairly well in his probably slightly undervalued, especially for a shooter and someone that even in his highest end outcome is probably not going to be a go-to guy in that way. He's also been a pretty good cutter and mover off the ball, a lot of which is subtle like we talked about with those shakeups and lifts, but it's impactful and it has gotten him and his teammates some easy opportunities. And he's been effective scoring in transition, most often leaking out and running lanes, but also taking it coast to coast himself at times too. I've had some big questions about where he makes a legit impact on the offensive end in the past, especially for a top pick, but he's really started to round into form and it's been encouraging to see. And defensively he's shown quite a bit in the past and that has remained the case this season both on and off the ball but I've been most impressed by him and help. His awareness and positioning there have been excellent. He's frequently impressed as the low man whether it's tagging the roller or pre-helping and closing out the shooters. He's done that at a high level. He's also been sharp on their doubles and help on post ups. He's rotated well and continued to show that he's someone that can give you at least a little help side rim protection and make some plays in passing lanes for easy points. Now of course he's not perfect but you'll quickly notice how frequently he's in the right spots which is great for a player this young. And this play is a good example of some of this. His man cuts through to empty out the side on this pick and roll, and he could have easily followed him to the opposite corner or even played a little more conservative help in the middle of the paint, but he immediately stops knowing the coverage are playing on ball and takes away any possibility to get that pass to the roller and ends up with a steal. And then at the point of attack, he's primarily matched up with wings and done a great job of containing there. He's also spent a decent amount of time defending smaller and quicker guards, and that's something that'll always get people excited. I'm not sure I give him the elite wing stopper tag from what I've seen so far, but he's flexible enough to navigate screens. He moves his feet and recovers well in plays, and the length is there, though it's not crazy relative to his height. He will need to continue getting stronger and adding to his frame as it gets to the NBA because that still shows up at times, but it's easy to see 
see the type of impact he can have on this end, and he fits the mold of a player teams want several of in the modern NBA. Scoring streaks from Crenshaw in spectacular style. Oh, Vitti gets it popped away, steal. Oui. C'est sûr, ce qui manque pas de confiance à la GL Bourg. Oh là, un peu trop bas cette passe. Bien senti l'interception, il va tenter le cost to cost. Rizaché. One of the bigger questions going forward for Riza Shea is in his ability to create for himself in a substantial way, especially in the half court. Like we mentioned, you'd like to see his finishing improve a bit there. Those numbers haven't been good for someone his size yet, though he has made some progress. And he's still yet to prove himself as someone you trust to create an advantage or consistent good looks against set defenses. The counters aren't really there yet, even on some of the closeout attacks, and he's not someone you trust to initiate offense either. Now, I don't think that's necessarily going to make or break him as a player, nor would I be drafting him for that reason but even in this class it could be important in the context of drafting him over some others in the top three to seven or eight depending on where you have him now he has now he has gotten better here he's been less passive he's gotten stronger and he has these flashes of step backs and dead or pound dribbles in the jumpers he's had a couple transition pull up threes that'll have you imagining the possibilities especially given his fluidity but there's nothing concrete enough to really buy into at the moment so the question remains with him as a player Another thing I'm at least curious about is in him as a passer. He's solid right now and has had his share of flashes as more of a connective guy, but just being able to consistently make plays off of his own attacks and attention, maybe run an occasional pick and roll or make a play in transition is something that's still somewhat in question. And I don't think he needs to answer that as an 18 year old on this level, but going forward this season, that'll be looked at and long term, that could be a key piece to him unlocking more of his upside as a player and finding another way to be effective offensively. Morgen wird freigespielt und der darf nicht so frei. Il s'est à l'opposé sur Jaquan Lewis pour tenter de répondre. Oui. Lewis. Ça c'est bien joué aussi. Et du free blocked off Coquilla this time. Back out they'll try and upgrade to a three. Mike from the corner. In terms of future matchups. I'll be interested to see him go up against Tijan Salon again, who is trending towards the lottery right now. He'll have some other matchups against Melvin Agenza and Paco Mdadie, two other Frenchmen with major draft interest, and then seeing him match up or at least spend some time on guards like Mike James, Elia Kobo, Frank Jackson, and Frank Mason should all be another good look at his potential there at the point of attack if he's given the opportunity. Riza Shea is also another second generation pro as his dad Stefan played in the EuroLeague and helped France win silver at the 2000 Olympics. The way Zachary Rizache has been playing this season has made him someone that's going to be hard to keep out of the top half of the lottery. Now I'd guess that he doesn't continue to shoot it as well as he has, but the production and the progress he's made there as a 3 and D wing with good size is a pretty safe archetype of player, even with some of the questions that still exist in terms of rounding out the rest of his game. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what you think of Zachary Rizache's game and where you would take him in the draft. As always, I'm Keandre, this is Hoop Intellect. Until next time, I'm out.